How's it going guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a sell and buy system kind of like dead rail so I could sell stuff like that and then come over here and then buy stuff like that and yeah all right so let's get into it all right so first thing you'll need to do is get the plugin in the description uh, the plugin includes the item system like dead rails the shop system and the queue system so you'll just need to go get that. And what I've done is I set up the item system for this. So inserting the item drag system, getting it set up. I have a video for that. I will link in the description or put a card in the top right right now. So if you want to go ahead and do that, just get the item system set up for this so that you can actually do the cell system. After you get the item dragging system set up, all you need to do is go into the plugin and click insert shop system. All right, once it's inserted, you should see, you should see some tables show up and um, a few other things. And it should insert a folder in the workspace called cell by. So we're gonna open this up and then put everything where it needs to go. So then replicate storage, we wanna put the shop data into the replicate storage. This one, replicate storage, interactables, item data template. We wanna put these, uh, you just follow the path right there. So replicate storage, item data template, or item interactables and item data template. You wanna put those under the module script like that. And then replicated storage objects, we're gonna put these into the objects folder in the replicated storage. Server script service, put these into the server script service. And the one where it says item setup replace existing, what you wanna do is go ahead and delete the item setup can replace with custom trip. So this one comes with the drag system. You wanna go ahead and delete this. And all it changes is it takes the money data and the coal data. So the money bag, for example, uh, it actually will set that up for you. Um, the other one did not because there wasn't a money bag in the other one. And then final thing, the workspace, you should put the sell buy folder into the workspace and then delete the folder that it came with. And there you go. So now what we can do, hit play and then take one of these test items, take it over to the sell station, put it in there. It should destroy the object and then drop a bag of money, which you can then claim for 20 money. And then you can go over to this coal old e to buy it and then it should drop a piece of coal for you that you can pick up it's a little bit there we go so that should work as is but if you need to add more then i'll show you how to do that also you'll see that coal spawns over here if you want to disable this go into the uh, replace existing script that we did and then you can go down to the spawning items comment and then just comment this entire while loop out so right click it toggle comment like that to add more cell tables is actually really simple. You can just take this whole model and then just duplicate it over if you need to. And then also in this model, the hitboxes, um, these do matter where they are. You wanna have these in these little cell areas or wherever you want your cell area to be. However, the table model can be completely changed, removed, whatever you wanna do with it is fine. And then also if you need to spawn in more tables, then you can actually do that. So if you go into the buy and sell script in the server script service, uh, at the bottom here, I have an example of how to add a new table. You can literally just clone it from the workspace, set the parent to the sell buy folder, which is this one, the sell slash buy. And then you can move it to wherever you want by just pivoting the model. Sell just goes up by the item needs to be, so for example, it needs to be sellable equals true so the item needs to have sellable true and then some type of value on it as well so it'll check if sellable is true and then it'll just drop a money bag with the value of it and that's how that works basically so now in the buy tables if you want to add more stuff that you can buy for example i have the apple what we want to do is i have an apple object in the replicated storage i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and then just move into the workspace. So here's our apple that we have. Let's say we want them to be able to buy it. So let's bring it over to this table, put it on top like this, drag it up a bit. There we go. All right. And then under this apple, I'm going to go ahead and delete this server owner pool value just so it's not there. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to go into the sell buy folder, go into the table or go into the model that says buy where uh, you want the object to be bought go into the purchases model and then you can go ahead and move the apple into that oh and also this is the same thing with the cell uh, you can change this table to be however you want the drop pause is where the item that is bought is going to drop off at and that's about it so for this to work you need to make sure that the name of the purchase is the exact same name as the item 
that you will be receiving from the replicate to storage. All right, so now after that, you want to go into this coal object and then you can duplicate the prompt, move it into the Apple model, and then drag this over like that, just so it's over the apples. All right, and that's the setup for that. You want to make sure this is anchored as well. Anchored, there we go. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go into the replicate storage, into the shop data module, and then I'm going to go ahead and copy this coal table over and then rename it to Apple. Make sure this is the exact same name as the item uh, in the folder that we just put. So we just put Apple, capital A, we make sure it's named the exact same. And then the object um, that is being bought is going to be objects.apple. So this is the object in the replicated storage that you will be purchasing. All right, that's all you have to do. You can set the price for it as well. I'm going to set it to like 10. And then let's just see what happens actually. If we hit play, then let's go ahead and sell something like this wedge. Get the money from it. And then go over to this. It should say buy apple for $10. We hold E on it. And it should give us an apple. That we can sell again for $50. And then also this coal isn't sellable. So if we take something like this coal, which you can't sell, we can't put it in there. It just doesn't do anything. And um, just some reminders, if you want to add some more items that you can buy, make sure that whenever you create a new item, like we did in the, the last tutorial for the weld system, whenever you create an item, make sure you go into the item setup, this script that says replace existing, and then make sure you set up the item data by getting the module and then calling this function with the data and the object. So it should be very similar to how it looks here. Uh, nothing too confusing, I don't think. And also just to test this, we can go ahead and duplicate this whole buy table like that and you'll see that it works as well. As you can see, it still says buy. Make sure you watch the last video on the carry weld system because that is used in this. And if you don't have that one and like all the stuff set up, then you're not going to be able to do this. So make sure you watch that first and then come to this video. And um, so yeah, 